Hey guys, it's Esther, and I kind of wanted to create a little short video, kind of in response to my video I made in the past. My hair is wild. Um, but I made a video last summer, kind of doing my predictions on the first term of university, and then I kind of went MIA, and I really wanted to like, document why that was, and kind of what happened, I guess. Um, I have notes for this, but I'm not going to use them because I feel like I wrote too many things down to cover. So the first thing I kind of want to hit on is the fact that the original idea of the channel, the original goal was that it would be a gift to my parents. So way back four or five years ago, I was like, I love making videos and I think for a lot of people, videos is a great way to kind of help uh, verbally say what they're internalizing and for me that's very much the case and so that's kind of what I did. I also like made fun videos that I was like passionate about. It was just something I do for fun and so when I did gift my channel to my parents it kind of left a now what question because it was like, do I keep making videos? Do I not make videos? I don't really know what to do. And then kind of two and a half years ago, kind of the channel's like focus also shifted to making memories with um, Sadie and Asher. And so with that, it's like, I don't see Sadie and Asher much. Do I really want to film by myself? What do I film? All that fun stuff. And so over the summer, I was like, I made a goal. So like a few months back, because summer wasn't too long ago, maybe like nine months now, I don't know. I kind of made a goal that I would continue making videos when I can and just talk about university. Um, and that's kind of where I left off. But first term got really busy really quickly for me. I had a lot of personal things happening. I also was in a new school, so I had to do like, I had to deal with that as far as like the social aspect, the study work, coursework. The coursework wasn't too bad actually. I went into it thinking like, oh, it's going to be very different. And it just felt like another day of school. I don't really think there's like a drastic shift for me personally. Um, for some people, it's like you do get more work. Um, for others, you may get less work. And it just depends. For me, it just felt like another day. I think the biggest thing and part of why I didn't end up filming a lot was just the social aspect. I made some acquaintances, some friends. I had a roommate, and when you have a roommate, it's just kind of hard to film because they may not be in your vid they may not want to be in your videos, or y'all may not be doing anything to make a video out of it. And last term, my roommate was Elena. She was amazing. I only had her as a roommate though for part of the term, and so I was kind of by myself for the other half. And during that time, I was also working on another another side project, and so that took up a lot of my free time when I was able to have free time. And so I just never really ended up filming. Also, there's a lot I feel like people don't kind of discuss about how the first term of university is when you start to really think about how you were raised and things. Um, I think the best way I can explain it is I was listening to a podcast episode of the Unplanned podcast and uh, the guests were talking about how in marriage, you know, you, the husband and the wife kind of goes through like how they were raised, what their parents did, uh, practices in the family, what they liked, and you keep the things you like that you may want to bring into your future family. They talk about how like there may be things you didn't like. And how you will either completely scrap those or um, modify those to suit your family's needs. And I just think that's the best way to put how like moving out of your house does that to you as like an individual. Obviously with roommates you sort of have that also where it's like um, with like Emma and I now, my current roommate. There are things that we were raised on that we do individually there are things that we may be raised on that we kind of do t 
together in a way. Um, Emma and I were just very open to like share a lot of our things. We're very open to just like helping each other kind of keep the room clean. Um, but while like some people are just taught to be very like, I do my thing and you do your thing and just learning how to be like flexible through like different people and their styles of living. And so I think first term especially was that like learning curve. Also like when you come from a religious background, there's a lot that you start to think about with like, okay, I don't have mom and dad over my head telling me to go to church every Sunday. And then having to go like, what, why am I going to church? Is it because I always went since mom and dad maybe, or is it this personal one? So a lot of things I was just kind of internalizing and trying to figure out as I was now living away from home for the most part. Um, and then just, there's also boundaries you learn to set with like anybody, whether it's your parents. Um, I think that one's also very unemphasized is boundaries with parents is just like when is enough enough i think with parents they often and i'm probably gonna be a hypocrite for saying this in the future but as a, as me being a student right now not a parent um i think oftentimes it can be very easy for parents to be like to have this kind of assert themselves in their kid adult kids life adult keyword adult kids life in an unhealthy way that says like because I'm your parent, I get to override everything. And while I do let my family override a lot of the rules I set for myself, like I try not to send, be on my phone at certain times if I'm like trying to do homework or stuff. But if I see a message from my parents while they're like not in town, you know, I want to know if they're like okay and stuff. But then also having to like, you know, make those exceptions but then dial it back in when reality is that they're now at home and most things that they're telling me is probably not urgent for me to respond, um, especially if it's like cat videos and things. So having to learn to set those boundaries, those healthy boundaries is also important. And it's a learning curve for parents too. I don't want to like dismiss that at all. Um, but it's just like, it can turn into a bit of a, family war when you start setting those boundaries or being more vocal about those boundaries because parents may be like well I'm your mother I raised you I'm paying for you to be alive um if your parents are paying for your tuition or whatever and thus because I have that like hand in your life still I should be able to override all your boundaries and just learning to kind of set those and learning more about who you are and like your personality plays into it um, is very important. And then the other thing I really was trying to do last semester is I am a person of strict schedule and routine. Um, I need to know what I'm doing before that day usually. And so last semester I was really trying to like test the waters with kind of not being on a routine for the most part. Like I was still on a routine. I still had classes I had to go to at specific times. But also like when it came to my social life, I tried to say yes as much as possible. And that's how I got to meet new people, make acquaintances. Um, but kind of coming into second term, I learned like routine and schedule is still how I operate and learning how to set boundaries with people I met last term um, for this term has been a challenge because a lot of people like last semester I was saying yes to as much things as I can. I still had a very busy schedule so it wasn't like I was saying yes to everything. I wasn't hanging out with friends every day for sure. Um, but I also got really overwhelmed when I did because oftentimes it was just like too much for me personally. Um, and so having to make those boundaries of like, hey, so-and-so, this friend, uh, I can't hang out with you all the time. Like last semester, I was very, I know I was very in spontaneous, like you're bored. I don't feel like doing homework. Let's go do something. This semester I was kind of like, hey, so now I know more people for one. Like, I feel like this is a second term thing where you kind of also realize like, you know, so many people that you're just like, okay, 
So now I have to fit all these people in my calendar. And for some people, you see them more often. For some people, I may only hang out with them once a week, once a month, whenever. And so having to set those boundaries as well with friends is important. And then also with like first term, a lot. So kind of tapping into personal life. One of the things I really kind of, I started doing also kind of the beginning of this term is figuring out the people I knew from my past before university and who I want to keep in my contacts and who I was not going to keep. Um, it's very easy for people to be like, oh, I'm going to follow so-and-so on Instagram, let's say. And then like, you may not have talked to them for ages. So it's like, do you really need to follow them? And so I cleared out a lot of people that I followed from just my high school and middle school days. And if I did keep someone I haven't talked to, there's like a reason why I kept it. Um, like I was a group, I was a, is it a counselor or a leader? I was a leader of a group during one of our student conferences for church. And so even though the people don't live in the same state as me, they're like 8, 10, 13 hours away from where I live. I kept them, even though I haven't seen them in two and a half years, because, you know, in the future, they maybe have a question that they want to reach out to me. So I don't want to be like, who are you? But then there are like those people from high school that like, I haven't talked to in a year. And it's like, our passions are different now and stuff. And one of my favorite features on Instagram, a little side note, is the fact that you can follow people and manually turn mute, like their posts and things. That's my favorite feature. Uh, because I just don't like sitting there scrolling through everybody's photos. I have a lot of people that I do see their stuff, but I have most of the people that I follow kind of muted. Either, mostly their stories. Their stories is usually where I get muted. Most people don't post enough to where I, I'm like disturbed by it, I guess. But if like somebody's an excessive poster, then I'll probably toggle that off. Um, and so just having to find those boundaries and kind of going through your contacts and going, I'm probably never going to talk to this person again. If they want to keep my contact, they can definitely be like, hey, yo, it's so-and-so. How have you been? But if it's like someone I haven't really talked to, especially like within three months of coming into first term, if you're not talking to them, then there's just no point in my personal opinion to keep them unless you have a reasoning for it. Um, and so I was kind of just doing that, I guess, first term. Academically, it was just fine, like I mentioned. I did have one incident with a teacher of mine, and it was a very bizarre and, like, very rare situation that happens. You hear, like, professors and students having conflicts, um, and there's different ones. The one I had was also very unique um, between that professor and me, so that also occupied a lot of my time, um, along with vehicular uh, issues. So yeah, that's pretty much my first semester all smashed into one video. I'm hoping to make more videos that kind of like building onto that, I want to talk more about university. I think now that the channel has the first kind of benchmark I have for the channel has been achieved. My now current goal is to be able to help other students with university and also just like going back to the original two goals of making memories and being able to use it as a mode of communication for my parents to see, like physically see what I'm doing versus just me on the phone talking to them or texting them. So yeah, with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.